So I have been recording 360 videos of classical orchestral music concerts for a few years now. And um, one of the issues that I've always had is uh, overheating of the cameras. And that was true even with the first camera that I had and still have, which was the Samsung uh, Gear 360. Uh, this one, um, I could never record it in 4K. I always had to record in 1440p uh, because it was simply overheat and was unusable. Um, it would record for about 15 minutes uh, at the most, uh, especially because all of these concerts are um, indoors, so there's not... Uh, any kind of ventilation um, that would allow this to run longer. Um, then uh, I switched to the GoPro Max and uh, while I was able to record in 4K, obviously I wanted to take advantage of the 5.6K and in order to do that I was able to, to actually record long uh, videos um, with this by uh, taking out the battery and powering the camera by the USB-C and doing this would allow me to record for, uh, for, for a duration of about two hours which was more than I needed or around what I needed for uh, an orchestral music concert and um, that worked really well no matter uh, the venue that I used to record in. Um, then I tried to go over to 8K and I purchased the, the Kukum, uh, Kandao Kukum 8K and um, this one didn't really had a problem because it has internal fans. It did have a little bit of a problem, which was the noise, but it was not terribly annoying. Um, I could live with it most of the times, but the image quality was really not uh, what I'd hoped for. And I found that most of the time, uh, the recordings that I got from the, the GoPro Max in terms of sharpness uh, and color were much better and I've always wanted to to go uh, into uh, the Insta 360 cameras but the problem was that up until uh, the X4 all of the uh, Insta 360 cameras have have had a, an issue where they do not uh, record continuously for long periods of time so every time you hit a 30 minute uh, mark, it will stop recording for a bit while it creates a new file to continue recording. And while doing so, it stops recording for 15 seconds. So you actually lose 15 seconds of footage um, every 30 minutes, which for recording a, a concert is basically useless. I also tried out the new Kandao uh, Kukam 3 and also the, um, the Pano X uh, V2, but those, well, the Pano X V2 also had an issue where it stopped recording for about two th to three seconds. And the Kandao Kukam, I never really enjoyed the colors. So um, fortunately, Insta360 X4 just solved the problem with the... Um, with um, the gaps in the long recording. So it no longer has a gap. It really has uh, absolute continuous recording for whatever. But it does have a problem with overheating while you're recording 8K. So, um, and it's it's totally understandable given the fact that it, it's a very compact uh, camera with no um, with no active cooling because it needs to be uh, sealed um, due to the to, to it being more of an active cam so to be uh, waterproof it needs to be fully sealed so th there's no way of, of having uh, active cooling 
but the, the image quality seemed quite nice. So um, what I decided to do was try out and see if I could create uh, a, a way to uh, cool the camera a little bit and have it recording, have it record for long periods of time without an overheating issue. And that's exactly what this small video is about. So what I decided to do was try to get a way of having a, a fan blowing through the camera um, in order to try and, and have a air move around it and see if it was enough to keep the camera uh, uh, heat under control. So what I decided to do was to purchase one of these Noctua uh, fans. This one is the NFA4X20, um, which is a 40 millimeter by 20 millimeter uh, fan. But the most one of the important things is this this one works on five volts because I wanted to be able to plug it to a power bank uh, in order to um, to make this portable so that I can just put the camera with a power bank and the fan somewhere where, where I don't have to deal with um, with having uh, electric any electric circuit around for it. So what I did, I purchased uh, this fan and I soldered it to a regular uh, normal USB cable and then I had I needed a way to kind of support the camera on top and uh, mount it to a tripod. So I went around and I I thought about ways of doing this and I purchased two of these grills, two of these small four millimeter uh, grills. I kind of cut out a hole in the grill right there with normal um, normal cutting pliers and I had two of those then I purchased these uh, mounts uh, maybe I set it down there so that it's visible change the light a little bit um, so I purchased two of these and what I did was I mount them through this hole that I created and tied it up and now I had uh, kind of a, a mounting point for the camera kind of like this yep um, so as you can see I now have a, a mounting point for the camera which I then reinforced a little bit um, with another uh, one of these. And then I did the same thing with the other grill. Did the same thing with the other grill. And mounted this one as well trying to keep it as centered as possible. Really tighten it up as hard as I can by hand. Yeah, it's not fully centered, but for now it works. And then I went out and purchased one of these uh, uh, adapters that is female on both sides so that I could create a, a mounting point for the tripod so this one would sit on the bottom and take the tripod in and this one would sit on top of the fan and uh, mount the camera to it and then I simply just screwed it up uh, to screw it on the uh, the fan uh, taking into account the um, the flow of air uh, the direction of the flow of air. So basically, I just tighten it up. There's the map.
and you have the finished the finished fan with the mounting points um, all ready to go and then you just put it on the camera adjust it so that it's parallel with the the body the camera body and using this fan this simple trick I was able to record for over three hours um, without any issues in 8k and I actually went out and, and record two concerts last weekend uh, each one with a duration of about an hour and a half in a rather well in a moderately moderately hot uh, venue and it didn't have any issues whatsoever I was powering the camera through you uh, with USB uh, on the same power bank that I had the uh, the fan connected to one thing that I decided to do uh, or the reason that I why well, I didn't use the same technique as on the GoPro Max of just trying to uh, take out the battery if you see if it, it would wouldn't overheat is that I found out that um, it really didn't work without the battery oh, it was shutting down so uh, I didn't want to um, I did not want to risk that so I devised this solution and it worked perfectly now how does it affect the stitching line it does there's it shows up a little bit but uh, since I'm recording uh, in in a, a fixed place, and I'll, I'll just throw an image of how it looks when you're looking down. But uh, since I'm recording stationary, uh, it's really really easy to just uh, to just patch the patch the 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 fan. Um, the bit of the fan that shows that this is showing up it's really really easy to just um, to just uh, eliminate it from from the, um, the footage and I can record for hours uh, and hours without any issue in the best quality in 8k um, which is great I hope that uh, maybe INSA 360 uh, gets um, inspired and thinks of a solution that is even more unobstructive and better looking more professional than this but um for me it's been working perfectly good what, what i also did is i wrapped um the fan because i don't think they make this fan in black so i wrapped the fan with some gaffer tape and i'll show you a picture of the of the final uh product and yeah it was really well and i think that's a cool solution for people that have um the same problem that i do which is the need for very long recording times um and want the best quality that this tiny little camera can offer hope this helps before i finish i would like to show you how the camera looks mounted on the fan and on the tripod um, and also uh, give you with a small example of how it affects sound and the noise that it makes. So this is a small test to show the amount of noise produced by the fan when in use. I'm recording um, about two feet away from the camera. The fan right now is turned off. I do have the wind protective muffles installed uh, on the camera, the original Insta360 muffles, and um, the active noise, uh, wind noise reduction is turned off. And this is how it sounds with the fan turned off. And now this is how it sounds with the fan turned on um, with the wind muffles attached and the active wind noise cancelling turned off. This is the level of noise produced.
I would say that within the room, it is barely noticeable, especially if you are in a large room as I was recording the concerts, it's totally fine, nobody will notice it.